Whoopum Gingdom Ribbon Style. Whoopum Gangnam Style. <laughs> Wow, she cleans up better than a new penny. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we are going to make a different type of wreath and this is what it looks like when it's finished. So the one I've made here is for autumn. Um, it can be used around Thanksgiving, Halloween, different times of year. But the one I'm going to show you as I'm making it is going to be for Christmas. So let's get started. So the base of my wreath that I used for this one is just a simple, it's like a wooden, I don't even know what to call it, but wreath, twine, intertwined wreath. Um, they are different sizes that you can purchase. I got these at the dollar store, so they're really inexpensive. Of course, you can get them at Michael's and places like that, but they're a little more expensive there. I'm gonna be working on the small ring. That is what I used to make this size here. And what I'm going to be using to make this is decorative mesh. I got these at the dollar store as well. I'm going to be using red. I'm going to give it a little bit of a candy cane look. And I'm also going to be using a red and white checkered gingham ribbon. Ribbon for the one that I used here in my sample, I used an ivory mesh, a green mesh, and an orange mesh. And then I found this really pretty uh, ribbon that matched. And that's what I used to put in um, just to kind of tie all of the colors together. You can use any kind of ribbon that you want. Um, this is kind of a pretty green sheer, but it has some specks of gold ribbon in it. You um, called that green. I called this green ribbon? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Orange ribbon with specks of gold in it. <laughs> That's funny. So, let's get started. So the pieces of mesh that you're going to use, these are six inch mesh rolls. Is that for hernia mesh? <laughs> no. So I'm going to unroll it and I'm going to cut it at 10 inches. Doesn't have to be exact, but right around 10 inches is perfect. So that's gonna be my first piece. And that is red with, I'm sorry, white with red stripes. This is white with silver stripes. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna to go to right about 10 inches. Cut another piece. And last, I'm gonna use red. And do the same thing. I'm going to take my piece of ribbon and I'm going to cut it at about six inches. What kind of ribbon is that again? It's red and white checkered gingham ribbon. So it's gingham style? Open gingham style. So what I'm going to use to hold all of these together, which is what I'm also going to use to attach it to the wreath, are pipe cleaners. So you can use any colored pipe cleaner. I used for this wreath, I used orange. And for the one I'm working on right now, I'm going to use red just because that's the colors I'm using. So I'm just going to roll these up a little bit and then roll the second one up. And I'm gonna hold them in my hand like this, like an X. I'm gonna take the third one and I'm gonna roll it up and go back across this way, and then I'm gonna take my ribbon and put it right across the top. She's gonna to make it gingham style. My pipe cleaner, I'm gonna take from the bottom up around the top and tightly twist it like that. So then I have my ribbon on the top and all of my pieces like that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to attach it to the wreath. And I'm just going to take the pipe cleaner and twist it along the back. There are other ways you can attach it to the wreath. Some people like to use like a floral 
wire. I just think that the pipe cleaners are easy to work with and they give it a little bit of sparkle as well. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to make it. This one took about 20 sets of these little um, pieces put together and you just put them as close together as you want all the way around, which is what's going to make your wreath. And in the end, it's going to look like this. On your wreath, you can add something decorative to it if you want. You can even take just kind of something little and glue it on the front just to give it a little design look. Um, obviously, you can do something um, bigger if you want, but you don't want to cover up the whole wreath. However, if you're using a bigger wreath, that's going to give you a bigger center. And you can find cute little signs like this that you can add in the middle if you have a bigger wreath for um, something like this. There is also a different type of wreath that you can use. You can use a ring like this. You can get these at craft stores, at the dollar store, um, lots of different places as well. But for these, you need to do a row on the top and a row on the bottom in order to really fill it in properly. And then of course, you could fit something like this in the middle as well. So it just depends on how full of a wreath you're looking for. Um, this one did come out really nice and full and I only had to do one row around. Um, but if you're looking for something bigger, you might wanna do either a ring wreath or a larger wooden wreath. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a mesh. These are called spiral mesh wreaths. Um, there are different types of mesh wreaths as well, and I will be teaching something um, along those lines in the future. Um, but thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you didn't see my last video, don't forget to click over here to watch it. My last craft video, that is. And if you aren't subscribed to our channel, make sure you click over here to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye! My name's Riley, and my favorite color is glitter. I'm a crafty dog.